Tracy. Welcome back to my channel. Now, one of the great things about doing this mini kit um, is that it took me all of about 17 minutes to make this, this page. It uh, normally takes me hour, hour and a half days. It can take a while to make a, a page, but because I already had this kit put together, this one went super duper fast. So um, I showed the photos. They're very tiny. I think they're what, two by two. I normally don't do photos that small, but I wanted to do something a little bit different. And these are photos of my daughter on her birthday. That was just last month. And I wanted to use that butterfly paper, you know, which was like the inspiration paper for this whole kit. And I haven't even touched it. So I went ahead and trimmed, I think it was um, three inches I trimmed off. And then you saw me cut out my wonky scallops. Um, I really prefer doing it that way for some reason. I just like the way that they look and they are very wonky and I am A-OK -okay with that. I love that organic look about them. Yeah, there's just no way I could, I could do them perfect. So I, I almost purposely do it wonky, you know, because I know that I can't do it perfectly. All right, I use the six by six paper, you know, as you can see, to uh, put as a border around my um, my photos to help them pop out a little bit. Normally my photos, I have a white background around them, but whenever I printed these out, I chose not to do that. And so I needed to have a little bit of something around the page. And then the one photo that's down at the bottom, the reason why that one is down there, and I know that they're really small, but this is a photo where she's looking up. So it just was kind of, um, it seemed natural to put that photo of her looking up to, you know, to the, to the right. Well, which would be to the left. <laughs> anyway, so it, it just seems to be pretty natural. And the wish is from the, the foam words that I wanted to get that used up. And I don't think I'm going to make it for the month of November. I'm going to try to use them up for the month of December. I pulled out some um, Ellie Studio uh, letters to finish out the phrase uh, for my title, uh, Make a Wish. And I have several sheets of these black letters. And first I was going to do all lowercase. And then I thought, you know what? I really like it better with the uppercase. So um, so the uppercase M and a uppercase A. So make a wish. I really like the way that that's looking. Now I'm going through all of my embellishments that I pulled out to put with this kit. And I just kind of flip through them and see whatever strikes my fancy. This is one of the reasons why the page went so fast is because I didn't put a lot of embellishments. What you don't see me do on this, um, this video is I do put the year at the bottom under the word wish. And I do add some little butterfly sequins that I got from Spiegel Mom Scraps. It was part of one of her collections. And so I kind of spread those around. You'll be able to see those in the still shots at the end. Now, I do like to add a little bit of dimension because that foam at the bottom right has, you know, it's a dimension. I wanted to have this, this photo as well. <clears throat> and then I add a bit of splatters as well. You'll be able to see that. I'm trying to get better about slowing down and showing you the products that I'm using. Now I wanted to have this arrow here and I trimmed it a little too short because I wanted a foundation spot to put that butterfly. So I have to switch out this other arrow to put it down and then, then I like it better. All right, make sure you follow the other ladies. I'll put their links below that are part of the Mini Kit Monday. Um, you know, it's Becky and Dolly and Jojo and um, Daisy and Kathy. So uh, everyone that's joining this month, I'm going to go ahead and put you a link to their channel. Make sure you stop by there and give them some love. Going to add a couple of hearts to this. I believe the white one is from Bill Boulevard. And then I pull out the black. I think these are from Freckle Fawn. 
The Freckle Fawn Heart has a little bit more gloss to it. And that is it. I'm going to add some sprinkles here. I'm using a Shimmers product. It's a Spritz Chance of Rain. I like this larger uh, two ounce bottle. I really like the springiness of the little piece that you use to add the sprinkles. I, I like that a lot. All right, guys, thanks a lot. There are still shots at the end. If you enjoyed this, if you'll give me a thumbs up, leave a comment if you like. Um, I try to get back with everyone. You guys have a great day. Okay, bye-bye.